This video is not suitable for kids. If you are under the age of 13, I do request that you please turn off this video. Blame Copa. I bet you're all asking, like, what, what was that, you know, what was the thing that you just heard? Uh, should you guys click off the channel? I'm not going to dive into what's going on with Copa. Uh, just know that you should go and Google Copa, uh, Copa, Copa and YouTube and just read about it yourselves. Because at this point, I can care less anymore. Um, that is going to be at the beginning of all of my intros going going forward because I don't know what's gonna happen with Copa and I don't want my channel to get shut down nor do I want to get sued for 40 plus thousand dollars for every video that's that they deem um, worthy of uh, being for kids so it's the saying that hey click off if you're the, under the age of 13 or well, if you're 13 or younger I should say click off but wait, I, I can't stop you from clicking off. I just want you to know that I physically cannot stop you from watching these videos or any video on YouTube. But that's it. I, I, I can't do anything. But let's let's forget about that. Let's cut straight to, hold on, I gotta back up. Oh, there he is. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Joe Dice, and I just did something on a whim that I never, ever, ever in my life thought I would do. I know you're going to roast me. I know I'm going to get a lot of heat on this. It has nothing to do with Copa. Um, has everything to do with what I just purchased. I don't know if I should be ashamed of myself. I don't know if I should be happy or I'm happy. I'm happy. But I don't know if you are going to be happy. You, the viewer, I don't know if you're going to like this. But I know I am. And a lot of you are going to hate it. You're going to roast me in the comments. Please, roast me in the comments. I want to know your thoughts. Your thoughts. I can't even talk. That's how excited I am. I want to hear your thoughts. Leave your comments. Please, leave your comments. And then share this with all your friends so they can either roast me or say they like it too. But without further ado, this is what I just bought. Yes, I put a deposit down on the brand new Cybertruck. For those of you who are not car enthusiasts, who are GTS fans and, and just find, find your curiosity peaked a little bit, this is what the Cybertruck looks like. Yes. And let me run down some of the specs. It has the one that I'm getting, which would be the top end model. It has a 500 plus mile range which is better than my Toyota Prius was and all wheel drive 0 to 60 it goes from 0 miles per hour complete dead stop like I am right now to 60 miles per hour in just 2.9 seconds <sighs> that's just as fast as the brand new 2020 Stingray, Corvette Stingray Z51 package. Think of that. A big, humongous, some might say doofy looking, but I actually like it. Looking truck, pickup truck nonetheless. That goes 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds. That is phenomenal. Its starting price is uh, $39.9, which is, again, amazing. It comes... It, it, the top of the line, which is the one that I'm getting, goes for 70000 before you factor in, you know, any incentives that might be there or, um, what is it called? Oh, if you want to add, you know, more things onto it, like, uh, fully autonomous, which I'm not about that life right now. I'm not, I'd rather drive my own car, please. Thank you. And, um, but yeah, the one I'm getting is only 70 compared to... The car that I, the truck that I wanted, which was the Rivian RT, the R1T, which you, if you've been a subscriber on the channel for a while, you would have heard me speak of the new Rivian truck that's coming out. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. But the Rivian RT, the one, uh, Rivian R1T, phenomenal truck, phenomenal. But its starting price is $39,900, uh, uh, sorry, $69,900. $69,900. 
why get a base model Rivian R1T when I can get a fully loaded Tesla Cybertruck? Come on now. Common sense. Common sense. And now they have a new uh, all-electric uh, um, quad. An all-electric quad that you can literally drive into the back of your Cybertruck and plug it in and charge it. That's amazing. The Cybertruck comes standard. For those of you who do not know what comes standard with, it means that it's not something that you have to pay more to get. It automatically comes with the truck. The very base model come, it comes with an adaptive air suspension, which means the air suspension makes the car go higher and lower. And you can also use the air compressor to power your air, your air tools or whatever you need air for. Comes standard. And what also comes standard? Tesla's famous adaptive cruise control where you could just hit it twice and it will follow the car behind you and not worry about how to coming out of lanes or anything. It's been it's been out for quite a while and it's it's great. But that's not my thing. I've been looking for a pickup truck. I was going to go with a Dodge Ram 1500, but then I saw the Rivian RT R1T. I keep getting it wrong. I'm sorry. Roast me. Then I saw the Rivian R1T and I was like, "Oh my god, I fell in love with this." For those of you who don't know my juke, here's my juke. This is my Nissan Juke. And for those of you who can't tell, to me, it looks like a frog. I like unique vehicles that don't look like every other vehicle out there. If you see in the center of this with a ship, they literally shaped it to be the gas tank of a motorcycle. What car you know has that? None. I like unique cars and this pickup truck is right up my alley so you can roast me in the comments all you want I love it and it's a six-seater three seats in the front three seats in the back the, the the people that were test driving it at the LA well it was technically the LA Auto Show it was, it was a Tesla unveiling which happened to be the same day as the LA Auto Show I just don't know if it was at the LA Auto Show but the people that were there, that were in the back, the driver, the one of the videos I saw, the driver was 6'3". And he was, he was sitting pretty far from the steering wheel. And the guy behind him was 6'4". And he said, yo, I have so much room back here. I am so comfortable. And the amount of people I drive to GTS and to all these places, Hitman, he's 6, I think he's 6'2", 6'3". Shamar, he's a big fudgy wudgy the whale. And... Joe, I drive Joe, and Joe's Joe's not light. Joe Joe's like I I don't, I don't know who's taller. Who do you think's taller, Shamar or, or Joe? Comment down below. Let me know who you think is taller, and we'll find out. I'll find out tomorrow when I see them. Um, but yeah, all these people I drive around complain that my seats are too small. Look, I got a car seat right there, and it takes up most of the back. So. It has so much space and a bed and a bed that gets covered like the whole back here look at the back yes that whole thing gets covered by a like a little retractable shielding it's pretty awesome the entire top from front to back is all glass that you can see straight through it's just phenomenal but yeah I'm sorry I know I'm ranting a lot. I'm just really excited for this truck. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And let me know what, also what you're thinking with this Copa thing. I, I, if you want to sign the um, the petition to fight back against Copa, I'll leave a link in the description. Please do, because we're trying to get to, uh, I think it's a million uh, signatures, and I've already signed it. I've already signed it. I've shared it on my Twitter. Please take the time. Go sign it because this isn't just affecting my channel. It's affecting all of you viewers out there. If you are 13 or younger and you don't have a fake profile that, you know, you can just put that you're older. Anyway, anyways, if, if, if your profile says that you're 13 years of age or younger, you're not going to be able to see our videos. You're not going to be able to watch GTS. You're not going to be able to watch WWE. Why? Because, yes, it is a, 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 a show, 
I'm not going to say it's for children because there is violence in there and there's people getting busted open. There's so much stuff that it's not for children, but children do watch it. Children do watch it. And soon, as of January 1st, as of January 1st, the day before my birthday, if you don't sign that petition and you don't fight back against the FTC against and against COPA, you're not going to be able to see it anymore. That's just how it is. If you're stopping in for the first time, please do subscribe. Sorry, this is a short video. Giveaway, still active. I'm over, uh, over 2,000 followers on Twitter. Thank you for that. Now let's get this channel to 2,000 uh, subscribers so we can end this giveaway and move on to giving away. If you haven't seen it, I'm giving away one of my cars. And if you want to know which car, I'm going to link it in the description. Go check that video out. And I'll see you all in the next video. Oh, and hit that notification bell.